Correcting the exposure and the color of a video is not always easy, especially for beginners. But the fast color corrector in Premiere Pro is probably the easiest tool to adjust and change the color and exposure of a video. The gray level is like the gamma level and is useful to change the general exposure of a video. For example, if a shot is too dark or too bright. The input black level will turn all dark areas of the image completely black, which makes it only useful for clips that have no contrast at all or if you really want to have a high contrast in your film. If bright areas of the image are underexposed, for example the sky, the input white level can be used to increase those highlights. Both the input black level and the input white level will increase the contrast. If the video already has a high contrast and you want to get a flat look, the output black and white levels are quite useful. The output black level will decrease the dark parts of the image, while the output white level decreases the bright and overexposed areas. This is very useful when dealing with footage that is only overexposed in certain areas of the image, for example due to bright sunshine and a high contrast. The saturation of the edited video will change depending on how the exposure is adjusted. To maintain and correct the saturation, the fast color corrector can be set between 0, which is black and white, and 200, which is twice the regular saturation and usually the footage will be oversaturated at such a high value. If the video's color is off, for example the image is too blue or yellow, the white balance tool is very useful to correct those colors. The value can either be changed by using the color picker or by moving around the little circle. The further the circle is being moved away from the middle towards a color, the more intense the color will become. The fast color corrector in Premiere Pro has its limits and can't be used to grade a feature film but it's certainly useful to do a basic color and exposure correction and just like the name states, it's very fast but it's also very easy to use.